Everybody is a victor. It's time to lead right here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Tuesday, Mosh Pit. That's what we needed to get over that like streak hump there. Now we're sitting at 147 over 150 for the worst ranked tier list items run, which will be happening as soon as we hit 150, probably over the weekend, probably on a Sunday, just because it's easier to keep track that way. And thank you all very much for those of you who do go back and like those videos as well as engage with the channel. I really appreciate it. And again, it helps out and grow the channel so much. Thank you, Mosh Pit. Sincerely, hope your weekends were awesome, and hopefully your Tuesdays were awesome as well. Here's your artwork of the day, all the way back from the vaults of this Invicta subreddit uh, by Vern Feathers two years ago. I don't know exactly when it was posted, but it just said two years ago. And I saw this because Vern Feathers also posted a picture of their jumping spider. Now, the reason why I didn't show the jumping spider was because I don't want to trigger like arachnophobia or scare people or anything like that. Um, but I looked at the posting history of Vern Feathers and found this other piece of artwork that they did, which is really, really awesome. This one actually preceded the fluffy sissy one that she also put in there a while ago. Whenever like sissy gets out of the shower, she kind of like poofs up and stuff. It's pretty funny. We featured that on a meme of the day a while ago. So thank you very much, Fern Feathers. I love that design of the sticker and uh, that would make it actually really pretty awesome sticker so today's gonna be Juliet 1 Victor 7 Yankee Mike Charlie Juliet uh, again we're starting out with terrible terrible tears rate uh, but also horrible range oh my gosh we have no range whatsoever um, even with 1.2 shot speed we don't our tears barely register as like like, this is barely, like, six range, I would say, as we have right now. I know that our range is 5.07, but range is not everything when it comes to how far stuff travels. Obviously, the shot speed is taken into account. But combine this with really not great damage, and, like, th this is not good. I mean, the only thing that we have going for us is our movement speed, which is slightly okay, and our shot speed, which is good. Don't mean, get me wrong. Like, I'll take, I'll take a 1.20 shot speed, but, man. Also starting off with options, which is good. That is going to allow us to have two boss items to drop instead of one. And of course, we're also starting with the mystery gift, which we're undoubtedly going to use in the secret room, which we have access to by way of our moon card. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the most encouraging thing that we have right now would be options. Getting those two boss item drops per boss from here on out, especially starting on floor one, is pretty huge. Yeah, that's a funny game. Um, we need to find a way to get some more value out of this. And we don't really have any way of getting this. We need to find some value, some way of getting some good value out of this moon card, uh, either by going to a curse room or like ideally a challenge room or even a boss trap room. A boss trap room would be perfect uh, for what we want. Um, so it's unlikely we'll get one on floor one, but it is possible. The penny here from the poop. So the reason why we want to get value for it is basically just because we're starting with it. It could have been anything. So, you know, the fact that we have a chance anyway of getting like a free a free boss item on floor one or something like that, a free boss trap room item out of floor one is pretty nice. It, it, it's a it's a lucrative deal. Got the jostling going on here with the spiders. Got to be careful with the pink champion here too because they can volley out those shots at random in random directions like that right there. And those do cause one full heart of damage, so don't necessarily want to be hit by that. We have no access to that eternal chest either, so there's no way that we can spend any of these keys. Uh, but yeah, on a start like this, we have to hope I mean, like, let, let's take stock right now. I know it's I know it's only two minutes and 30 seconds into this run. And we're on floor one, uh, but we need to start taking stock of what could help us out the most in the secret room. What is the one thing that could help us out more than anything else that we could find in the secret room? Rock bottom. You know, even if we get, even if we get death certificate. Sorry, I'm adjusting my hands here real quick. My phone is in the way. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, even if we get death certificate, let's just hypothetically let's say, okay, let's let's get death certificate. What would be the one item that we that we want more than anything else in this world to help us out of this run? It's a question that I'm posed a lot with, and honestly, I think that the biggest thing that we could get is probably going to be Binge Eater. Um, and Binge Eater can be found inside of the secret room pool as well. So if given the chance... If I had Death Certificate right now, would I take Binge Eater? Yes, I would. I wouldn't take Rock Bottom. I wouldn't take 
you know, Sacred Heart or anything like that because we need tears right now. Would it would it be helpful? Yeah, absolutely, be helpful to, take, to get Sacred Heart, but it's unrealistic. I mean, it, it's not going to happen. Um, you know, getting an R key might also be kind of huge for us too. I'm trying to get this Explosive Champion to blow up on the Pinned Rock, and with how bad our damage is, it's going to be a little bit difficult to judge our shots count here. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to pick up the soul heart yet. Go fight the boss. Gonna be Limehorn. Should be hopefully okay. Although with this with the shot speed, oh it's black champion Limehorn. With the shot speed though, it makes the dark matter balls kind of ridiculous. The clown physics, so yeah. Gotta be real careful with the jostling of the shots here from Limehorn. Try to get in chip damage when we can. This is going to be a long fight. Because Dark, or uh, Black Champion Littlehorn spawns more than one ball at a time sometimes, and he can be really annoying. And I have to resist the urge to use a bomb because A, it's our only bomb, and B, it's not guaranteed to land on Littlehorn. So this is a Littlehorn that also doesn't spawn any troll bombs. So, yeah, we got to do this the hard way. So just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful run that started in the Tuesday of August on the basement floor one. Hopefully our mystery gift can Help us out in the secret room. We eventually get there. And hopefully he doesn't give us the poop, and hopefully, hopefully he doesn't give us... Uh, I mean, like, Lump of Coal would be fine. Here, Here's ideally what would happen, is we would get in the secret room, and then there's a reroll machine in there. Um, we don't have a lot of money, obviously, but we can go use our only bomb to go bomb the donation machine and get some stuff to reroll. But before we do that, we have to get past Little Horn, which is uh, still going on. We are now six minutes into floor number one. Here we go. All right. It's bound to happen. The longer that you're inside of a fight with a with any any combat at all in Isaac, the longer you're in the run, the the room, the higher the chances you're going to take damage. It's only a matter of time. And this is why I stress so so much how important tears rate and damage is. DPS especially is just is king in Isaac. This is by far the longest little horn fight I think I've ever been in. And, uh, yep. Yeah. You're still here. Here we go. All right. Almost done. Four one. We've done it. What do we get for our troubles? And... Almost seven minutes of our time. We we have to go binky here. We can't not go binky here. That is just an absolute. As much as I would love to get more movement speed, a tears up is is essential. You just saw the results of having bad tears. Okay. So now what we do is we use the moon card. The moon. Go into the secret room, which I knew was here anyway. We did get one bomb, so we might as well get a nickel for it. Hopefully anyway. And then we can use the mystery gift and it gives us one up. Okay. Not particularly all that great, um, but it could have been worse. It could have been the poop. At least one up will save us from dying. And now we can go play this eternal chest and hopefully maybe get some good stuff out of it. Get a damage upgrade. Fantastic. That's the only thing we're going to get. We get a Perthrow room for the next floor. All of a sudden, we're looking very interesting. Now, if we had done this out of order, in a, in a different order, not out of order, because there's no set order what we do these things in, but had we done that in a different order, we could have potentially gotten a Perthrow and re-rolled one up. Would I have done that? Probably, but we'll never know. Man, oh man, oh man. This was a 
That, that was an undertaking of a first floor. It's been a while since we had a seven minute first floor, but it was, or eight minute first floor. It was, and it, it ended up being worth it. We made the most out of it. And honestly, getting the tiers upgrade is, is big, but also combining it with damage is even bigger. Um, because now we're in a position, we, we go from being in what is looking like to be a really hard struggle bus run to we're poised to really, really make up that lost time there that we did on the, on floor one. So, you know, at the end of the day, I think that we made good decisions and it worked out for the best. The biggest thing that we have, again, is going to be more options, though. Having options, being able to take more than one boss item or have at least more than one choice of boss item is huge because you essentially get to customize your... You, you get to customize your stat up, right? From bosses. A whole lot of stuff going on over there. Let's do that. Trying really hard to get that barrel before the Claudies or the Gish, the Gishes moved away, but they do. And one up allows us to take more devil deals than we really could afford to do. We could also play a sacrifice room. Um, you know, whether or not holding on to one up is smart or not, you know, for insurance, it's probably the wisest thing to do. I'll be honest. But it may not be, it may not always be the best thing to do. The wisest thing may not always be the best thing to do. Keep that in mind. Game gives us a free chest over here and there's nothing inside of it. Super secret room I know is here, but I'm, I'm going to save our bomb until we get another one. Wow, we're getting, we're getting hooked up out the wazoo with soul hearts all of a sudden. I mean, the eraser, I guess it's better than nothing. We've seen the eraser work very, very, very effectively in the past whenever we get it in the early game where we can take away basic spiders and basic flies. Trites would also be amazing to erase and we were able to do that. So no more trites for the rest of this run, no matter what, which is great. Lard's it. Lard's it's fine. There is a sack room here, so interesting. Very interesting here. We could use if we get if we get an angel deal. If we get an angel deal and then we can use the Perthra rune on the on the key, that would be huge. We want red hearts here. Okay, we got our bombs back at least. I'm gonna go for it. I'm not gonna lose our life. But I am going to use all of our hearts. Okay, we got our we got a heart that's good. Notice how we went down to a one half heart because they just don't exist. 33% chance for an angel deal to teleport. We did, and look at that. We get divine intervention. Now the only the only kicker here is that we have to beat Gabriel. Which with this damage is gonna be this is gonna be gonna be rough. Okay, it's Uriel, so it's slightly better. Man, if we big if we just big brain this, this would be massive. I am gonna use our last bomb for this. Okay, I don't care about divine intervention. We can use Perthro in here. Get Immaculate Heart and the Wafer too. Oh baby. Look at that. Oh man, an Immaculate Heart actually gave us a full heal too. I didn't realize that. So we're gonna lose the eternal heart, and that's fine. I don't really care about fighting Uriel again. And we get 30 cents. That's also actually probably better than Soul Hearts right now. And all of this before we fought the first floor boss. So that's everything that we did here was seemingly the right call. We got a major damage upgrade with Immaculate Heart. Um, we gained an HP. We had an HP container upgrade there from Immaculate Heart. And we also ended up getting the Wafer, which of course doubles our HP essentially. So everything that we just did there feels like the best move that we possibly could have done now we aren't going to get a devil deal here because we've already been into the angel deal so if anything it's just going to open up another angel deal which it's guaranteed to 
Take Synth Oil for damage. Also our first syringe item. And uh, yeah, there's no reason for us to go in there. So I don't think anyway. Good, 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 good. So that brings us to last week's question of the episode, which was on the Mother Monster episode. That's the one where we actually went to Mother on lap number one, um, which is a rarity. But uh, I asked uh, people on that episode, uh, do you like tear effects at split shots or is the visual doo-doo too much or distracting for you? And again, this one was a very, this one was actually pretty popular. Lots of opinions on this one. Uh, for people. The most upvoted comment was from CC C U C or C U uh, 6 C H. And they said, I love visual poopy on my screen. It really makes me feel empowered. And yeah, I mean, that's part of it. Like you do have this sort of sense of like, I'm doing so much more damage than like it seems because of all the shots firing off and everywhere. So I definitely, I definitely see what you're saying about that. Um, no pun intended there with the visual doo doo. For some people, they don't mind. Um, and most of the time, I don't mind unless if I'm on light, like low life or something like that. Then, you know, taking chip damage here and there, it gets annoying after a while. It gets dangerous, actually. So, and then the next, the second most upvoted comment from last week was actually from Stone5127. And they just simply said in all caps, I love split shot, split shot, woo. Thank you, Stone, very much. I love the enthusiasm. Uh, I mean, I don't mind split shots. Again, it just kind of depends on... It's all situational, just like everything in Isaac. About whether or not... Do I need to... Do I need to see? <laughs> do I need to see where I'm going? If yes, then no. I don't I don't want split shots. Uh, and then finally, the third most upvoted comment it came in from Dennis, who said, Depends. Low damage split shots can be very dangerous with, with Isaac physics, causing enemy to schmoove all over the place. The visual doo-doo is not a problem for me, though. And yeah, and that's another thing that we actually saw going on in that episode, which was, you know, you see a lot of these split shots kind of, again, with the clown physics, just jostle everything around. And it's not, it's not conducive with safety. We did get a uh, car battery here in Book of Shadows, which is going to be way better than the eraser. I'm glad we were able to at least erase another annoying enemy. Would have been nice to erase spiders or flies, but you know, what can you do? Gonna take another tears upgrade here with Squeezy, and that's gonna give us two soul hearts. We end up getting a devil deal, and oh man. Oh baby. Um Yeah, we can get a payout maybe from devil from the demon judgment. Weird that we're shooting when we take damage with large zit. I didn't realize that, that happened. Uh I'm not willing to go any further than that. And yeah, we can take Succubus as well. Give me a nice little damage bonus, so. We're, we're really making up lost ground here. First in the Maze. And thank you again, everyone who takes part in those questions of the episodes. Please keep them coming. Um, I don't know why YouTube is removing my posts. Uh, my comments, anyway, not my posts, but... It's, it's weird because like sometimes it works like so what I have to do I'll, I'll to, to lift back the veil a little bit for me to post a comment before a video goes up I have to unlist it for a few seconds right uh, because for some odd reason um, YouTube will not allow the uploader to comment on their own video if it's private and in order for you to schedule things here on YouTube they have to be private um, so what that means is that I have to unlist a video briefly, um, comment, pin it, and then re-private it and then re, uh, schedule it. I know it sounds stupid and that's because it is. I'm not taking that so hard yet because I actually want to get down to, I want to go into the boss trap room here. Obviously the eight inch or the, um, the lead pencil is huge gonna be a nice dps upgrade let's go take a gander and i mean blood clot's not great but we're gonna be fine here because we have we have we've got book of shadows plus we also have car battery and our damage is also starting to really 
pick off. He just saw lead pencil just smoke dark one right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking, we're looking solid here. Now we're not, of course, we're not gonna make boss rush. Let's <laughs> not get crazy now, but we uh, we're doing a very admirable job at, at this comeback that we're working on here, turning this into a solid run. I mean, with succubus and now Iabelial plus lead pencil, yeah, buddy. We're not rolling like a big shot yet, but we're getting there. Of course, the maze apparently just wants us to move along, so happily obliged to that. <laughs> we almost just one shot this entire room. Ah, that's why, because it didn't want us going to the store. Gotcha. Gotcha, because here we go. The, this is going to be black candle and treasure map in the store. Let's see if I can make this call. Uh-huh. Are -huh. oh, you Isaac conspiracy theorists out there? Here we go. Oh, kind of hopeful. Uh, yeah, the battery is huge here. And you would think that glowing hourglass would be my pick, but glowing hourglass doesn't do anything with with the um, uh, car battery. So I'm actually digging the Book of Shadows car battery combo we got. I mean, double duration on, on Book of Shadows. Yes, please. Yeah, we just destroyed. We didn't even need these book of shadows there. Uh, we could take what's in the box, but I'm going to take old bandage just for the HP and we'll keep on rolling. You know what time it is. Burm, 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 burm. Throw your hands up. Yeah. When Roland came out, like everyone was blasting that track, and Ro like it's one of the few like Pud Durst songs that like is like still good. I mean, it's a really cheesy, like really really cheesy song. I mean, the first the first lyrics in the songs are the song is. Now I know y'all be loving this ish right here. L I M P. This skit is right here. I mean, the lyrical genius to be able to rhyme here with here at the start is just. Uh, I mean, how do you argue with it? It's it's Fred Durst. He's truly the most gifted linguist of our of our our generations, spanning generations. In fact, it's a timeless classic, Roland. People in the house, throw your hands in the air. Because if you don't care, then we don't care. Now, I know there's not a whole lot of songs that rhyme, throw your hands in the air, and a variant on, like, you just don't care. I mean, it's only with Fred Durst that you get this, this type of lyrical powerhouse. All that being said, I still actually like Roland. In, in fact, I even like the Air Raid remix that they did with DMX and Method Man and Rain Man and stuff. Like, that was like... Was Rain Man there? I know Method Man was. I don't think Rain Man was there. Rain Man was on, um... What, uh... Was on the All Together. They had some... Limp Biscuit had some pretty crazy collabs, man. I used to, when I was in college, I used to have a buddy who was just a massive Limp Bizkit fan. Like, he would, he would go so far as to wear the backwards, like, red cap and just blast Limp Bizkit in his car. Like, you could hear him coming from a mile away whenever, like, we were, like, you know, at, like, a gathering or something. I think the most I ever did. Yeah, this is tough. I'm gonna go blue cap for the HP plus more tears. I'm actually gonna pass on brimstone. I legit think brimstone is a is a downgrade here. I'll talk about why in a moment. Hey Bizzle, how you doing?
The reason why I think that Brimstone is an actual downgrade there is because it cancels out Lead Pencil. It cancels out Eye of Belial. It basically negates... Oh my goodness. It negates all the tears ups that we had gotten and fought for for this entire run. But the biggest thing is that it negates Eye of Belial uh, and Lead Pencil. So in my opinion, I do not believe that it's worth it at all. And Brimstone's still my favorite item in the game, y'all. But I'll pass it up if it doesn't make sense. We get Death's Touch, which I feel like is an item that we haven't found in a very long time. That D Bizzle is even on point today on this Tuesday here. Slim Biscuit Tuesday. Bizzle just going off. Go off, King. Um, yeah, I'll just keep it going. So if you don't know what Dark Bum does, Dark Bum will take one and a half red hearts on the ground uh, wherever he can access them, and then he has a chance to pay out with a soul heart, which is the biggest thing that he can pay out with, but he can also give you friendly blue spiders. He can give you hostile spiders. He can give you pills. And most of the time, D Bizzle is a team player. I don't want to call him a big time player. Let's, let's not get it twisted now. Rules card. Let's not go crazy. Sometimes he's a big time player. Most of the times he's not. To be honest. Um, but occasionally when he does feel like paying out, he is a vital role in any run, keeping you alive and just to you know, just to make keep the comeback possible. Super Secret might be here. It could be up here as well. And if it's not there, then it's in a place that I don't feel like looking for. It would be remarkable if we end up making Hush after that super long first two floors. I'm not saying I go fight old Hushy, but like we could definitely hold that as like sort of like a small accomplishment. Definitely want the negative for the damage upgrade. And we are going to laugh at that horrible devil deal. Going back to the whole band thing, like I think the most that I ever did in my most hardcore fandom for a band was I dyed my hair to go see Power Man 5000 and Static X live one one weekend, and Mama Victor was not happy. Um, she was not happy at all, actually. So it was worth it. She got mad at me for like two weeks. Maybe not two weeks. She got, she got mad at me for at least a week. I can tell you that. And because uh, I didn't tell her I was going to be dyeing my hair neon green. It was worth it, though. We had fun. Power Man 5000 put on a good show. Static X was, was very good, too. I think that's the most I ever did in my fandom. Use the Book of Shadows here. This is what's nice about having the battery as well. Uh, yeah. And we can use the Book of Shadows here. Remember, we've got the wafer, so this doesn't really matter. I'd like to get a payout before it runs out, though, with car battery, if possible. Yes. Oh, that worked out perfectly. Not only did we get a payout, we got out in time, and we also got a soul heart back from the mark, so... Yeah, this run is really, really coming together, like, in a crazy way. We could even go play the Sacrifice Room, because remember, we've got the Wafer. So, and, a, and an extra life. Like, there's no, no downsides here. I guess this is just what happens when you, when you quote Limp Biscuit. Get the goodness that is Fred Durst. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. We got taken to a, another angel deal here. It's going to be monstrous, which is not what we care about. And we get stigmata too, which is just going to give us even more damage. Move that item pedestal out of the way real quick. And we're able to take the angel key. 
And because we have the wafer, like, I'm super okay with fighting Lamb here, just going straight to the dark chest and skipping Shoal. But before we do that, let's go fight the boss, because we don't want to miss out on a, on a double boss item pedestal. And I think that, honestly, the MVP of this run definitely goes to starting with options. Uh, with a with a co-MVP, if I had to pick one, to obviously the wafer. And the wafer is just is just so, so, so strong. We're going to get a double fallen uh, pedestal here, and yeah, have a dab a ding dong, faux show. Sure. That is a little bit risky taking that, obviously, because we can't, we, we don't really have a decent way of getting soul hearts other than D-Bizzle, which is just pure RNG, but, you know, I don't know where I am. Strategically, this makes sense, too, for us to skip Shoal and just go straight to the Dark Chest. Because you got to think about it. Like, we have double HP already, right? Ooh. Empty Vessel plus... This is going to give us... Death list is hard to pass up. This will put us at two and a half soul hearts. Let's get crazy with it. Get even crazier. What about a, a first a first lap Mega Satan? We haven't done that in a while. Now, the only reason why I'm doing this is because A, we have a lot of damage, and B, we also have extra life, so if this goes bad, we can at least get out of here. But we also, also have, you know, the wafer plus... Plus, we've got Empty Vessel, which is proc right now. We also also have Car Battery and two charges on Book of Shadows. So, should be okay here. Should be okay here. Should be. Excuse me, Stanley. I'm making a bit. We can also kind of lollygag here. Because we've got uh, Empty Vessel, which is going to kick in in about another 20 seconds. Maybe, or less, actually. And yeah, there it is. It's kicked in. Fully kicked in. Double kicked in on a Tuesday. Spawning the extra greed plus wrath is kind of lame. Empty vessels kicked in. Now it's kicking off. It's the Book of Shadows for the first time here. Monstrance, it's kind of hard to see when the uh, empty vessel shield kicks in. There it is. Is that kicked off at 2920? We're doing a lot of kicking right now. A lot of kicking in and kicking and kicking off. So kind of staggering our, our invincibility here. Down goes Mega Stanley. Yeah, that's the first floor. First floor Mega Stanley. Do we go first floor, first run delirium? Hell yeah! This is, this is not a good idea. For the record, this is not a good idea. 
but I have faith that D Bizzle will hopefully provide us with some HP. And, uh, you know, Death List might give us some more range. Or some more range. Might give us some more stats. I wouldn't be doing this if we didn't have the extra lives. That's the thing. And the wafer. The wafer helps out greatly. But we don't even have polar invincibility, so this is not a smart move. I have faith, though. Another Limbisky reference. Because you gotta have faith. Yeah, they did the... They, they did they did a cover of faith by george michael now what we don't want to see here is delirium not yet we gotta get we gotta get more than than three hp before we see delirium now what's nice about this is that because we have uh more options we're gonna get a double boss item in every single void boss that we get so yeah that's pretty freaking huge four and a half volt with with car battery book of shadows i don't think it's possible to lose at this point our damage is not is not like you know call guinness we're setting a world record of damage yet but it could be we could be getting there oh my gosh this is a triple boss room now what we would love to see is some kind of teleport uh in case we do accidentally run into delirium but it doesn't look like we're, not, we're, we're okay here for now but the four and a half volt plus Book of Shadows is huge. Uh, let's see. I mean, this gives us Leviathan and movement speed. So we've already got flying, obviously, but movement speed's big. And the HP, of course. Body, which is just more HP. Yeah, now obviously we're gonna be we're gonna be totally fine now. I had I had confidence because even if so if if you wanna know oh my god. I Clotus too. If you wanna know what my contingency plan was here and to why I would seemingly do such a stupid risk, uh, it's because we have one up and if we ended up running into delirium somehow, I would just simply I, I mean I would give it a, the old college try, of course, but I would simply just die out of there. And uh, and then just and, and with and then resurrect with one up on the outside of the room. So then we would know exactly where Delirium was, and then we can go back and farm all the bosses. So we would have gotten all these boss drops anyway, even if we had even if we had run into Delirium inadvertently. And we also have Guppy's collar too. So Guppy's collar could also save us the one up. So it's even more reason for us to at least try this anyway, just for fun, just for funsies, you know. First lap Delirium is uh. Not something you see on the channel all that much, but when you do, it's quite the trip. The only thing we lose technically from this episode is we lose one of our Eden tokens, but uh, who cares? Again, those fluctuate regardless if you use them or not. So um, most of the time they don't, but sometimes they do. It's strange. It's something that Vin told me about a long time ago. Thankfully, we won't be running out anytime soon. It's also looking like the way to delirium. If we end up running into delirium, that's fine. But uh, if we do run into them, let's get today's question of the episode out of the way. And that's simply put, do you feel that the wafer is the strongest defensive item in the game? And if not, then in your opinion, what is the strongest defensive item in the game? Is it the wafer? Is it holy, holy mantle? Is it uh, orbitals? You know, post them in the comments down below. Guppy's eye here, which is going to help identify stuff in the chests. It's hard for me to say that the wafer isn't the strongest item in the game in terms of defense because it essentially doubles your HP. Remember, all the damage that we'd be taking right now would be allocated to one heart or more. But the wafer says, nah, we got you. And rounds all that down to just one half heart. Essentially doubling the amount of HP that you currently have. And that's pretty damn good. Like, that's really, really strong. Especially if you combine it with other defensive items like the Book of Shadows, or if you have an HP generator like D-Bizzle, it, it, it goes off in a hurry. So the wafer sets all of this up. Remember, we wouldn't, we wouldn't even have some of these items if it weren't for the wafer because we couldn't play the sacrifice rooms. We, would, we may have died. You just don't know for sure. So that's my case for stating that the wafer, I believe, is the strongest defensive item in the game. But I could be wrong. 
In your opinion, I'll, I'll amend the question a little bit. In your opinion, what is the strongest defensive item in the game? The red Healy champion, which needs to be dealt with. I think Monstrance was stopping him from coming up. It's going to be Dat Boy Delirium. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Book of Shadows right now because Delirium's tanky, obviously, and we're going to be able to get that charge real quick. I don't know when... I don't know when the, uh, the Empty Vessel Shield is supposed to kick in, but... Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna pop the Book of Shadows again, and we're just gonna build up that charge. We're back to a full charge on our Book of Shadows. I don't know where Delirium went, but there he is. We'll just go ahead and use the Book of Shadows again. There he is. All right, and uh, we'll just use the Book of Shadows again. Yep. And uh, yeah, I think we'll use the Book of Shadows again. You know what? I think I'm going to switch it up and use the Book of Shadows again. How about for a change of pace, we use the Book of Shadows again. Uh, in before all the comments says, guys, I think he, I think he's using the Book of Shadows again. And in before all the comments from other people saying. I think he might use the Book of Shadows again. And there you go. Whoa. Hitless Delirium. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. What a turnaround run that was. If you enjoyed this run, everyone, make sure you click the like button. How could you not enjoy that run? We absolutely smoked Delirium. So thank you for watching. I hope you had a great start to your Tuesdays here in the Mosh Pit. Again, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you click that like button. Leave a comment down below. Check out the question of the episode. Hopefully it posted. But if it didn't, then uh, answer someone else's question of the episode. And then I'll pin mine whenever I do eventually catch it. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Taz Bryant, Nicholas Fernald, and Ode Ode. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find by going to patreon.com. Slash Invicta.